Hello, I'm Broford. Welcome to my playthrough of Monster Prom. My plan for this series is to either occasionally play with Kaysock and or Rod Ford, or I will play by myself to achieve the various endings of this game. Hope you enjoy. That girl's mine! No one go to the bathrooms! Watch me. <laughs> what are you gonna buy? I don't know, something. Alright. Can we each only go one place? For the day, yes. Or for the round, yeah. Or I meant, like, only one of us can go to. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I think I'll get more creativity. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you do a terrific job at acting. You act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency or stat in this game. It's nice. Mm. Anyway, you check the converter out to see if this could translate to something a bit more useful. Hmm, seems seven roses equal two creativity points. Sweet, two creativity Every 3.5 roses of creativity. So, so far we got 550 milligrams of... Are you trying to quantify how things transfer into stats? Hmm? You'll drive yourself insane if you do that. <laughs> Probably. You fucks. No! Were you right? <laughs> what? Why is Miranda here? <laughs> <laughs> You're stuck with her now. She often does this. It's like she's accustomed to having a royal scribe following her everywhere she goes. <laughs> oh, whatever shall I do about my army? I I'm hating this every second. I don't even want to voice her anymore. <laughs> War against the sky people. Nope. We haven't had a proper war in months, and the soldiers are becoming ever so anxious. I've tried sending the servants to give them tummy rubs and even putting ex extra leads and stick sticks in their cages. They just kill the servants with the sticks. Mm -hmm. I've never thought managing an entire branch of military would be so challenging. How can I possibly keep my soldiers entertained? By fucking off. Why are you here? <laughs> You know the kingdom's living piñatas, then? No? Then divine providence must have guided your suggestions. Each year, hundreds of peasants are required by law to volunteer oh to be stuffed God. with candy and to spend from ropes throughout the palace. Visiting dignitaries are, invite, are invited to take a few ceremonial wax, but we always have more piñatas than we can That's use. fucking macabre <laughs> I'm sure Daddy would would be happy to lend me a thousand pianos to keep my army happy. A splendid idea, indeed. There's no reason you should feel guilty about this at all. You gain plus two boldness and one smarts. Let's go. I don't feel bad. <laughs> all right, Blue, where are you going? That's an excellent question. Please don't go to the bathroom. What is outdoors? Fun. Fun? Yeah, that's the lowest one you have, right? Alright, fun. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people? As uh, someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension, the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. Later, you see Vera cackling to herself in a hallway, which is whatever, but you might as well find out why. <laughs> Practicing my prom queen acceptance speech in my mind. It's not like the title bears any meaning whatsoever, of course. And I really do consider the whole thing way beneath me. Oh, shit. However, considering how much meaning the other girls put on it, I can't risk some uppity bitch thinking she's better than I am. Plus, it's not bad branding, either. I could see using a victory to start a line of successful prom queen accessories guaranteed to get you the win. Perfect prom shoes, the right makeup, fancy knives to take out your opponents. <laughs> Speaking of which, I assume this goes without saying, but I'm not leading anything to chance. I'll be doing a blood ritual to ensure my win. Oh, secret ending! Yeah, this is where the tampon comes in. 
I still haven't found the exact details yet, but I'm optimistic that at least some of the items will be found in the shop. The only question is where exactly I can find the details for a proper blood ritual. I don't know. I'm intrigued. Of course, I knew those basic bitches would come in handy one day. Actually, I didn't. I always thought they were pretty useless, but I'm never mad to be proven wrong when it serves me. <laughs> Using the skills you gain from the extra credit summoning seminars. Yeah, call forth the COVID. Coven. What is it now? Is there some emergency? Is the world in need of saving? Of course not. The world's the worst. Why would I ever want to save it? No, I just want to be prom queen, and I need some blood magic to guarantee my victory. And I figured one, well, you three could do something productive for once. What do you mean for once? We were the ones constantly saving you from destructions. We're the ones who... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just tell me how to cheat my way into becoming prom queen. Start a rumor that you're just a mega swarm of bees in three people suits. <laughs> Bees. Not what? the bees! Why would that. Ugh, whatever. Here's what you need for the ritual Blood of a former palm queen, the ton of goat, and the earrings from an ancient goddess. Well, good luck getting those. Thanks. When I need your opinion, I'll ask for it. You did ask. And now you answered, so you can leave. In a puff of aggravated smoke, the coven disappeared. <laughs> Let's split up. You check the shop, and I'll grab a goat and meet you in the bathrooms when you're done. Well, I guess you're involved in some blood magic now. Sounds fun. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Um, sure. All right, yeah. my turn. Okay, um, so you're on a secret ending with Mira. Hell yeah. I need the tampon for this, right? Yes, which means you need to at least go to the store once. All but right. You also need a lot of money. I have a decent amount. Always get more. You never Me know. Alright. Uh, Tyler, I found Good a guide night. on how to get the girl. Well, how to get the cat girl. What? I found out how to get the cat girl. Okay, how do you get the cat girl? You have to visit her three times without buying anything. And uh, then there should be a line of dialogue that, men that mentions that you're here for her, not for her stuff. And the cafeteria visits also count. Cafeteria visits also count. Okay. So just go in, go out. So I have, I just have to visit her and then leave three times. You have to go there, buy nothing, and leave. Three yeah, times. buy nothing. When the cafeteria counts. Okay. So let's start that. Hi, stranger. It's been a while. I've missed you. It's okay. You can look at my stuff. Ooh, that's an invitation. All right, and then I'll exit. My stuff isn't good enough for you? Not cool. You know what? Maybe you aren't good enough for my stuff either. Alright, that's my turn. Let's trade places. Random, so I can get first again. Ah. Blue, Amira, Brian. Let's go. Alright, if you want to get the tampon, you gotta go to Cat Girl. Who the fuck is that? I don't- I've never seen him. Never- I haven't seen him either. What the fuck? <laughs> Do I... Do you want to get the secret ending? I'm just so intrigued! Who is this? Well, since, uh, Tyler has nothing to do, he can go there. Okay. Show me that money. I hate what you're studying yeah. for a few Be advised, <laughs> this will lower your stats a little. <laughs> Am I right? Noted. All right, left side there. One dollar. Go for it. So fucking cocaine. <laughs> That's for another secret ending. Later, Gator. Okay. Let's do this. I'll I'll go figure out who that okay. person on the top right is. Because I'm I'm free agent right now. You arrive you at Zoe and Beer's person? table. Excited to <laughs> We're not doing anything suspicious! <sighs> Zoe. And we definitely don't have a fellow student in a cage under this table! You have a fellow student in the cage under the It uses Vera. Amira's too perceptive. We've gotta come clean. 
Yes, the problem is clearly that Amira is too perceptive. I'm pretty sure I would have figured it out. <clears throat> but I suppose we have no other choice. Look up, look under the table. Zoe and Vera do indeed seem to have caged the fairy under the table. She's filthy, miserable, and covered in glitter. The fairies cry glitter. We took her as a prisoner for, during the last food war. You know, for leverage. I didn't think anything of it at the time, because taking tormenting prisoners is just the thing you do as an elder god! But that was three days ago, and she's starting to smell. We gotta figure out what something else to do with her. We could... let her go? No, I fail to see how that profits me. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, what should we do then? <laughs> it's like I always used to say when I was a dark manifestation of hatred and madness. Spoiler misery alert. loves company, right. and I love misery. Uh. You want another prisoner, Zoe? A prisoner is a big possibility, you know. <laughs> Who's gonna clean up after it? Who's gonna feed it? <laughs> That's the cool part! If my prior experience as a mistress of extreme pain is anything to go by, they'll feed on each other! That is an interesting cross-cutting measure. Cross-cutting measure. And it's agreed. Oh, I love doing good deeds! You love letting your hot friend think she's doing a good deed so you can hopefully smooch her later. Everybody wins. I mean, it's um, been confirmed you all had an orgy already. Smooch so. the Elder God. Alright, who is that? All right, who night. are you? You expect a couple to want to, to be left alone at lunch, but they actually seem really happy to see you. Couple. Hello, sad single loser. Oh, right. Look at the person. Is this a Yeti and the <laughs> mushroom that's growing on the Yeti? Yep. Oh, good. Brian. We could use a little bit of help. Kate and I spent all of the third period gazing longingly into each other's eyes in the bathroom mirror, and now this eye and now his eyeballs are all dried out. Oh wait, has she just taken over his brain? No. Huh? Would you mind putting some drops in his eyes? His coordination isn't so great ever since I accidentally assimilated some of the nerve endings in his shoulders. Wait, maybe she has. <laughs> Happy to help. We take the bottle of eye drops out of the couple's shared backpack and gently drip a few drops into the Tate's vac vacant lifeless eyes. <sighs> Slowly, painfully, he lets one arm to give you a limp thumbs up. So at least it's consensual. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love seeing him happy. Thank you so much. I can't let a good deed go unrewarded, so how about a free disease? can produce all kinds of funky wacky spores they're toxic but in a funny way this is cursed <laughs> fuck it why not do it it's very very extraordinary hey for some reason most students at the school don't want anything to do with my free diseases it's like they've never heard the phrase don't look a gift disease in the mouth all right breathe deep I think this is the if this is the best person to happen to because you have the lowest stats anyway. Oh, okay. So if something goes wrong, you're good. You do, for some reason. Go up after this. <laughs> for some reason. Congratulations, you're now infected with a toxoplomosis, a par parasitic infection normally carried by cat faces, cat feces. It inherits fear, enhances risk-taking behavior, and generally makes you sexier. Nice, you gained plus four bonus. Wait, fun fact what? Just the disease. If you get it while pregnant, it'll kill the kid. Toxoplasmosis? Yeah. Huh. Right. So that's yes. an interesting thing. Oh, usually okay. the characters at the side tables that you don't know usually will give you something good. Okay. As far as I... Let's trade places. But that's not a problem this is for you, so you're fine. Yeah. Hey, I'm first! Let's go! See? Perfectly balanced. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Um, sure. Alright. 
Show me that. Hey, last night I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get pocket cancer? Quick, give me that dangerous money you have in your still healthy pockets. Right, and leave. Uh... But you just came here to say hi? What a weirdo. Human interaction is so last year. Let's go. Um... If I run into Miranda again, I'm going to piss. <laughs> That day you skip class, uh, just to hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity, so you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! <laughs> the graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall. Now concerned by the mushroom on the wall. Oh, <laughs> no. A deep voice resonates from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain plus two boldness. Oh boy, that is an opinionated wall. Hey, why are you anyway, about the mushroom? I don't know, we just met somebody who has a mushroom growing in them. It's a wish ga That's granting with a mushroom on it. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, the for shrooms gets a mushroom infestation. Uh, the closest section, you can see blood pooling on the floor. Vera is standing over it, smiling broadly, holding the carcass of skin goat. Oh, excellent. Hey, you. Hey, thanks for coming. Fun's just getting started. I know we only need the goat's tongue, but, like, if you're gonna take the tongue from a goat, might as well take the skin, too, and make yourself a sweet pair of sweet boots. Not that I know how to sew or anything, or that would take the time even if I did, but Miranda has some mer slaves I can be. It's a pretty nice tongue, right? Not too fat, not too thin. The right kind of purple. I think I'll be the most regal feared frog queen to ever grace Spooky Scout Spooky High School. I almost said Spooky Scout High. Uh, Spooky High School in no time at all. It's not a bad plan, except that spiders need to relieve themselves too, and it's at that moment that Principal Giant Spider walks in to use the toilet. Hey. Good afternoon, Principal Giant Spider. I'm just holding the skin carcass on the school property because... Because... Mm -hmm. I don't remember which one was chosen last time. Either one would work, you just have to have the high enough stat to get it. Uh... Because it's for Anab Animal Abuse 3, we're getting a head start on our homework. Principal Spider nods appreciatively. It's always nice to see our students taking initiative and le learning things. I'm very proud of this school. Successful and well-organized extracurriculars and uh, healthy social life for my students. But it does seem like people get a little hung up over certain school events. <laughs> Seriously, promise one night. One night! A proper education lasts a lifetime! Yep, that's why we're so glad to be doing this right now because it has nothing to do with prom, just a good old-fashioned learning. Alright, students, carry on with your learning. Prom! One night! <laughs> I skipped mine! <laughs> honestly, I could've. Uh, honestly, I'm not even gonna try to be prom queen. Principal Giant Spider exits, leaving you and Vera to the pocket to pocket the necessary go time. I'm not trying to be prom queen. I will be prom queen. Two down, goddess earrings to go. Maybe Principal Giant Spider has a point about who is in the store. But fuck it! Prom's awesome. Too fun. One creativity. Let's do this! Alright. So, for your event, I think all you need to do is wait till, like, near the end. But I encourage you to probably get. keep going to the library to get money. Gotcha. And if, you, if the library's taken. Go to the go to the classroom for smarts. <laughs> All right, what do I need? Uh, Mark Rated. That day while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the rule required you to be. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there. But there might be an extraordinary way. You summon the devil, one of many, and make a deal to enhance creativity just a bit. You gain plus two creativity, and you also lose three years of your life. As you end, as you end of the deal, but who cares? They weren't ha they weren't happening in game anyway.
afterwards, Miranda summons you. So I quit. See ya. End of, <laughs> end of recording. <laughs> Feels weird to be summoned, but you comply. You can't resist her merman goons. Why can't I? Why does she care? Greetings, fellow. Why is it whenever you make her happy, even a little bit, you can't, you can't escape, escape her? You can't escape mermaid bitch. You can't well. escape her. Thank you for coming, my dear. I finally decided to trust you with my most important aspirations. I am destined to be queen of prom. The royal ascension is nigh. We must prepare. What? Is this a comp- Is this a- Is this a secret ending that's gonna compete with yours? <laughs> most of my competition is naive. They foolishly assume that prom queen is purely ceremonial title. If this actually go against your secret ending, I will actually follow this. Except Ursula Jr. She's proving to be quite a worthy rival. I respect that. I don't. Which is why we must destroy her reputation immediately. Any thoughts? Are you gonna go for it? No. Maybe it's just some random fish. Damn it! <laughs> Nurse Lynch is resting. We quickly gather a crowd and put a glass against the door. The crowd explodes with laughter as Miranda's unfortunate rival is launched to the moon. Well, shit. <laughs> Welp. Excellent. Now she can rule Alien High School as all she likes now. I like to go there. Also, I'm mm -hmm. going to check to start an alternative space program off my bucket list. Oh, you wanted to be far though. You should have been more specific. You gain plus two boldness and one fun. Why won't you leave me alone? Brian! Alright, let's see. I want to get some um, water. I'm back. Sure. There you are, minding your own business and a spying on your classmate's way, when suddenly. Hey, Brian! You're sort of a loser sometimes, right? Um. Sure. Hang out with other losers like Blue, right? Fuck you, bitch! Because Blue is a total loser. Who I happen to maybe be developing feelings for. I can't explain it. She's nowhere near as attractive or wealthy or ruthless as I am. And yet I find myself so inexplicitly drawn to her. I think it's her eyes. It's like there's real depth in there. Like she's hiding some sort of secret. And secrets are sexy. Secrets are sexy. I think it is something wonderful or something totally lame. Um, the secret behind Blue's eyes is the secret. That point, that book has changed her life, and her business sense and self confidence is on point. The secret behind Blue's eyes is the secret of communism. Don't Blue doesn't believe in ownership like of material goods or individual entrepreneurship of any kind. But guaranteed, the top one is for Blue, the bottom yeah. one is against Blue. You want to get that snake pussy? Yes. You want to get that snake pussy? Yes. I mean, I was going for Demon Boy, but... Fire, fire crotch or snake pussy? You're already on a Very secret ending. Play. You can only get this year ending if you succeed in getting her. Alright, I'll, I'll choose Snake Pussy for you. Did I tell you that my mom got all of us that book and was gonna pay us $10 if we finished it? What? Yeah. I didn't read the book. I trashed is it. it. Isn't the secret, like, like, anti-religion? Or am I thinking of a different book? I know. I don't know. I didn't read that far into it, so I'm like, this is dumb and kind of a waste of my time. Let's not. Ten okay. bucks isn't worth it. All right. Yeah, this whole auction thing. Over. This whole auction thing is only if you guys are doing competitive play, where you're all going for one person. Any publication that puts me in a position to once again assert my superiority over others with hard work can win me over in a heartbeat. And any monster who, was, who reads that kind of book at Nice. Is out to get something for themselves. <laughs> In this case, possibly me. Oh. I like a monster who isn't afraid to chase down what she wants, and we know I'm not too easily won over. Maybe she has a chance with me after all. Vera and Blue, prom royalty. That 
has a nice ring to it. Thanks, Brian. No problem. Maybe they'll let you be part of the prom court. Even if you're just a jester or something. You gain plus three fun. Let's trade places. Random. On the first. All right. Blue's first. Get that snake. Pussy bitch. And that will be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment if you can. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.